Have you ever met someone who seemed quiet and reserved, yet you couldn't help but feel a sense of unease around them? It's possible that you were in the presence of an introvert, or maybe this could be you and you don't even know it yet. While introverts are often misunderstood and underestimated, they possess a unique set of qualities that can be quite intimidating to others. In this video, we'll explore some of the ways introverts can unintentionally intimidate people and shed some light on the fascinating psychology behind it. Separate from society, being independent is often encouraged and rewarded in adulthood, but wouldn't introverts choose to spend time alone on a regular basis and drift apart from the crowd? This can be interpreted as a problem by society. People, particularly extroverts, can't fathom why anyone would want to spend so much time alone. Psychologist and relationship coach, Enamaris Mendoza, says that sometimes being independent Having a strong mindset and personality can come off as rude and intimidating, rubbing people the wrong way. By nature, introverts are often self-sufficient. They enjoy their alone time and do not necessarily need to be surrounded by other people to enjoy themselves. They do not need many friends to be happy and can be remarkably selective with their social circles. Author Beth Bulo, often dubbed the introvert entrepreneur, admits that introverts are pretty picky about who they allow into their lives, but Below argues that this quality causes introverts to be loyal, attentive, and committed friends. Big brained. In her book, Quiet Kids, Help Your Introverted Child Succeed in an Extroverted World, author and educational psychologist, Christine Francesca, argues that introverts prefer the neurotransmitter called acetylcholine as opposed to dopamine. Contrary to dopamine, acetylcholine powers our abilities to self-reflect and focus. Similar to how an extrovert craves dopamine, an introvert will crave acetylcholine, allowing them to absorb information faster than most others. Intellectual individuals like Albert Einstein and Bill Gates are excellent examples of the intelligence and inquisitive nature many introverts possess. However, many people are often intimidated by it. Clinical psychologist and author of Joy from Fear, Carla Marie Manley, says our strongest feelings of intimidation often correspond to our own insecurities. For instance, if at some level we're afraid we do not match up to someone showing a high IQ or strong insight, we often find ourselves intimidated by that same person. We may compare ourselves to them, bringing out our insecurities and inspiring feelings of jealousy. The awkward silence. Not all introverts dislike small talk, but most enjoy quiet time. They enjoy being alone with their thoughts and thinking long and hard before they speak. Some people, however, cannot endure even small periods of silence and crave conversation. And that's not entirely anyone's fault. In fact, the results of a study of 580 undergraduate students undertaken between 2007 and 2012 suggested that constant accessibility and exposure to background media have created a mass of people who fear silence. The results of this study were consistent with the research of doctors Michael Bittman of the University of New England and Mark Sitthorp of the Australian Institute of Family Studies, that humans need for noise and struggle with silence is a learned behavior. Emotions under wraps. Disagreements between friends and family can be heated at times. Words are said and emotions run high. However, psychology blogger and author of Introverts in Love, Sophia Dembling, insists that introverts and extroverts approach conflict differently. Psychotherapist Nathan Fields, for example, says, when an extrovert argues, there may be a more wordy approach to it, a more emotional component, whereas the introvert tends to be more rational and reasonable about it, feeling less comfortable experiencing the emotion and ambiguity. This lack of emotional response can sometimes be intimidating or inhuman to people unfamiliar with it. But please keep in mind that introverts are not always comfortable with sharing their emotions and purposefully choose to keep them in check. Introverts can feel just as much as anyone else, but tend to keep their emotions in check to avoid becoming overwhelmed. Easy to read. Often curious by nature, introverts are also often very observant of their surroundings, making them capable of noticing things not typically noticed by others. An introvert may be able to guess your favorite color based on your clothes, or may guess you have a cat or a dog at home based on any dander you have on your clothes. Dr. Jennifer Ken Wilder, the author of The Introverted Leader, building on your quiet strength, says that the typical introvert uses his or her observant nature to read the room. They're more likely to notice people's body language and facial expressions, which makes them better at interpersonal communication. However, 
This concentration and insight into others can be intimidating for some people. Whenever we catch others' eyes on us, our first reaction may be to assume the person watching is silently judging us. It can activate our insecurities and we'll need to get away from the person bringing them to the surface. Being told you're intimidating just for being yourself can be very difficult to hear. It can be downright hurtful at times, but that is why it's important to consider how introverts function. No two people are guaranteed to be the same. An extrovert may want to be the center of attention while an introvert wants to avoid the spotlight. People are built differently and our differences may appear intimidating and unapproachable, but they also make us unique. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. To learn more about introverts, check out our video, Five Harsh Things Introverts Want You To Know. Until next time, remember to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date on our latest videos and take care.